Welcome to My Quiet Daisy Life. This is our survivor. Her name is Daisy. In this series, we intend to live a quiet life among the killers. We seek to stay alive, under the radar, hunting, gathering, building, all while having to constantly watch out for other survivors and threats. You are a huge part of this series. We will have topics of conversation each episode, and as each episode ends, I will read your comments. I hope to live a long and quiet Daisy life and get to know you all very well. Last episode was epic. Huge shout out to the team for helping me deal with some hostile neighbors. Anyway, today's episode, it takes me a little while to get to the question of the day because I get quite distracted. I hope you get a laugh out of how many times I get distracted trying to ask you the question of the day. But anyway, in the comments, let me know if you had six CDs you could put in a six CD changer, what would they be? And here's why. I'm looking at buying a super old Nissan Pathfinder with 160,000 miles on it and it's got a six disc CD changer in it. What six CDs are you putting in there? And have a laugh at how long I take to get to that question and how many times I get distracted. Daisy is going back to her quiet life after an explosive episode. Many of you like to watch to relax after work or on your break or listen while you're driving. However you decide to watch, enjoy the episode. We got everything we need for a base build, I believe. We parlayed that last raid into some good stuff. We don't have a lot of food, though, ironically. So, um, I'm looking into buying a 2005 Nissan Pathfinder. I have two daughters. One's about to get her license. The other's not far behind. And I got a friend. I don't go to dealers anymore. I don't even go on any websites or apps. I just have three friends who are always kind of like wheeling and dealing cars okay look that's still not fixed sweet that's a good sign it's a sign that they've hopefully moved on yeah that's east so i think the sun is rising let's get out of here nissan pathfinder 2005 160,000 miles on it and he'll let it go for 5k so i'm scratching money together so i'm gonna need a car for the kiddos Especially if one's going to college in a year, possibly. You look, more evidence. Boom, base build. This place is a hot zone. Although I think after our raid, that other barn got raided before us. I think our bad guys in that apartment raided the barn and they left. And then we raided them and they left. So, uh, Wayne, more. I'm going on more tangents. Wayne's like, your stories have a lot of tangents. So I'm looking into buying a Nissan Pathfinder. Long story short, it has a six disc changer in it because it's old. What six discs would you put in it? What six albums would you put in it? This is gonna, we're going to learn a lot about each other on this one. It took me a long time to get to that point. So I may edit in the question earlier. That's funny. I'm trying to find the path of least resistance here. What six discs are you putting in your six disc changer? Do you have a six disc changer? That was the thing back in the day. It felt like you had your own radio station. I feel good about this. There might be some food in here. Dude, I just knew it. I smelled that zucchini from the street. I smelled it. I'll tell you my six. I don't know if I have six yet. I mean, and mine are embarrassing. Mine are, are really embarrassing. Um, I'm going to start off strong, though. I'm going to start off strong with the Fujis, the score. I'm going to get the clean version, though, the, uh, the radio version. You know, I, I, can't, I, don't, I don't like the vulgarity anymore. I don't need that. I don't need that drama. Um, let's see, number two, another one. You're going to think highly of me for this. And I, and I mean it. I like this album. I'm not just saying it because I want to be cool. Hold on. Oh, I forgot I don't have my heavy hit. Okay. Okay. You gotta keep... Hopefully, let me make sure I'm moving west. Yeah. Oops. Number two. I'm gonna go with Bob Marley Legend. Like the greatest hits. I had that CD in the 90s, I believe. Late 90s. Maybe right around 2000, give or take. I really liked it. It was the only reggae album I could really like. 
Uh, no woman, no cry. We'd be jamming. Uh, redemption song. I did see the movie recently, and I never go to the movies. I go like once every 18 months. There's a well. So this solo, we call it PvE. There are other players on the server. It's just a vanilla server. So I always got to be watching my back. Do I not have a water bottle? I don't think I do. In all the looting and gathering and shifting, I must have dropped it. Okay. So I'm episode 29. I'm going to drink from the well with my hands like a moron. I'm just going to drink for a moment and get out of here. Because food will hydrate me enough. But we might as well get a little bit. Yeah, look at that sky. Yeah, sun is rising. Okay, so I got um, <clears throat> those two albums. But guys, it's all downhill from there. You're going to think so less of me after this. What do we have here? It looks like a, almost like a parking structure. Hmm. I'm looking... Uh, I have two options where I, where I may build a base. One, I think, is at the base of that hill we're looking at, and the other is across the street from it. Uh, Rax and I were looking at areas on a map. He was kind of helping me think through where to build a, a little off the grid. He said south of the street. I was thinking north of the street. I'm going to just go get a look and see what I think. It is on the way to Northwest Airfield um, if I'm on the south side of the street. That's the downside. Um, the upside is I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, the upside is it's good. Okay, album three. I have it in the six disc changer now. I lost my legend album. I had it when I borrowed a Subaru a year year ago or so because my cars were broke down. And now I can't find it. Um, third album, Dido. I know, guys. Dido, the album with thank you on it, I think it's called... I don't know. Hunter is like the first or second song. I want to be a hunter again. The beats are cool. They're chill. Her voice is chill. It has like something in the mu music that just sort of moves my heart a little bit. Like, yeah, okay. And I can just put it on and just cruise. So I'm going to go Dido number three. And I don't know the name of the album. Not the one with White Flag, if you know that song. I love that song. And I have that album, too, on CD. I found it. I found these albums. I don't know what to do after that. So I got three. I really don't know what to do after that. Um, I like Christina Perry. Yeah. I'm telling you, you're going to think less of me. Her song, Thousand Years. If you've not heard it, YouTube it after this. Thousand Years. I heard it when I was painting. I will love you for a thousand years, and I'll love you for a thousand more. I can't sing. And the melody is amazing. The piano is really awesome. Love that song. And I heard it when I was painting. And I was like, what is this song about? A thou who loves someone for a thousand years? Is it a metaphor? Is it like a Christian song? Is it like a song about God loving you forever? How do you love someone for a thousand years? And then, wait a second, hold on. I'll love you for a thousand more. Dang, that's 2,000 years. <laughs> and I was like, and my kids were little. My daughters were little. They were helping me paint. And it was just a nostalgic moment in time where I'm looking at these two little kids with these rollers, painting the same part of the wall over and over again. Might just meander up into that area over there. And this song, Thousand Years, and I'm like, what is this? It's like a really well-written love song. Um, I think time stands still. Something like that. Beauty and oh, she will. How to be brave. I will not let anything take away what's standing in front of me like I she sings it a little better than I do 
Like, I'm not going to lie, that was some pretty strong vocals right there. Um, she's You can expect her to step it up a bit from what I just did. But it just moved me. I was like crying while I'm painting, looking at my little girl's painting. And um, that song just got me. And I'm like, what is it? Is it about God? Is it a, just a metaphor? And so, like, I stopped painting and I went over. I was on the radio. I listened to it on YouTube like three or four times. And then I looked it up. And I realized it's a song from a vampire to a werewolf, or vice versa. I'm not sure. From the movie Twilight. <laughs> it was like, okay. That almost ruined it for me. Almost. Almost. I still love it. I, if I had to pick like a favorite song of my whole life, mostly because of the nostalgia with my children, I would pick that. Okay, I think there might be a castle up there. I'm kind of thinking I venture into these woods here. Okay, this is the area I was thinking. Is I couldn't decide which side of the street. So, um, Christina Perry, I don't know what album that... That's on the Twilight... Hmm, what do you call it? Soundtrack? And I'm not about to do that. No. No, too far. Okay. Mm, I don't like that that's there. Let's, let's meander up here. And we may... may go back in this area. This was Rax's suggestion. We, we looked at We had a little chat about it. We were looking. And I told him the region I wanted. And he's like, yeah, this looks flatter. I think because it's flatter than the other side. Maybe up on the top of that hill right there. We're in the region. And Ian, you told me about your place by Tizzy. Hope I didn't say too much. Although we do tell you we're reading the comments. And it's not on this server, I don't think. Maybe it is. That would be awesome. Okay. Um, and you said no one's been there for a long time. See, that looks pretty steep right there. Now that I'm looking at it. I think there's flatlands around the corner here. So, Christina Perry did have an album... Um, I don't know. It's it's kind of whiny. But I like the music. So I got three strong. I don't know what my other three are going to be. Fuji's, Dido. Um, ooh. Ooh, look at that, Rax. Fuji's, Dido. Pipsy. What was the other one? Oh, legend. I'm legend. No, not I'm legend. Bob Marley legend. Oh, there's a lot of Zeds here. A splitting axe. I mean... But I got plenty of sharpening stones, so I don't think we're going to need it. I got th four sharpening stones. Because we found that one just a minute ago. I can mosey on out of here. We don't need to be doing that. Mosey is sort of the word of the day. Okay, it does get flat up there. You're right, Rax. That is a flat area up there. And this is a flat area over here. It looks like a little plateau. Hmm, it's really tough to say. I'm going to scoot up this way because that way is closer to Northwest Airfield. I'm going to see what we see up here. So give me your six discs, if you got six. You guys are going to go like Metallica, all these like manly, awesome, I don't know, Nirvana, but can you name three songs? Isn't that a thing? You have to be able to name three songs if you're a fan. Uh, honestly, I can't name one. Okay. This is interesting. I hope. <laughs> I could sing I could sing again if you guys want I could sing this isn't very thick okay I'm get, I'll get some perspective on that there hmm yeah it's pretty hilly a little farther it flattens out right there might be able to build something in that region Got a 
hunter stand. It is awesome that we knocked out that bass. And Daisy is a solo at heart, like the Dido song. I'm a hunter. I need to be a hunter again. Like, you got to let me go. You got to let me go. It's like, I got to go. I got to see the world alone again. That's what she says. Really, it's the beats. that The rhythms and the beats and the melodies. Oh, man. that You can just put it on in your car and cruise. I know you're like, dude, you're... The sissiest, the sissiest man I've ever met. And that's not entirely true. You're exaggerating. But I mean, that's a cool view of that butte. Butte is how it's pronounced. We got some weird stuff here. I'm kind of liking this. Let's boogie across. Should have taken the tree line for sure. Uh, yeah, and if you missed it, I'm looking to do in late March a bunch of live streams in a row. Like a week of live streams. And thinking about doing less of my second job or not a second job and just do YouTube. Instead of that. Still got to keep the full-time gig, obviously. Okay. I don't really need anything here. You have beautiful views, man. Absolutely stunning. By the Butte. The Butte base. I really learned that word driving up and down from Palm Springs to Seattle. I think I've done that drive literally a dozen times round trip. You get up like Northern California, Oregon, they have all these signs for Butte this and Butte that. And at first it was like everyone's giggling because it looks like the word butt. It's B-U-T-T-E, is that right? Okay, this looks flat. This looks flat. Let's see if it thickens up a bit. I want to see what happens, how much... Okay, I just seen how much my stamina I regain if I drop that backpack. Because we are in barren wolf territory. And honestly, if I drop it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it again. But um, if we lose the base building gear, we lose the base building gear. Okay, I'm looking for... Okay, look, that, that area's got some thick trees over there. The base of this butte... Okay, what do we have there, though? We have a hunter's stand there. So people are going to want to check that out. So I'm not real happy about that. Other than this being beautiful, maybe that's why they call it a beaut. Huh? <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else up here or a reason for someone to come through here. You might come get that and then leave, but what else is up here? I'm going to have to check it out and see. Who knows how words are formed? It's an office line. Beaut, beautiful. I like the idea of it. I love the idea of being up there. I don't think I've ever gone up there. I don't remember this. I'm going to go check it out just for exploration, for science. And if we don't build today, we don't build today. If we build next episode, that's fine. Hopefully we don't break a leg. I mean, it does seem like other folks would want to come up here just to check it out, but let's see what we see up here. I 
That flattens out nicely. And remember, my goal for having a base is different than most people's goal for having a base. My goal is to sit and read comments. If I wake up one day and it's raided and pulled apart, I just move on. I don't even care about the gear. Okay, there's a trail through here. Like, I don't even care about the gear. Like, someone could take all the gear. As long as I got some food, fire axe, and um, ballistic vest. That's what I want. Not great that there's a trail through here. And I'm accidentally following the trail. Yeah. The trail loops around. Okay, I don't have my blaze. Um, I, I just brought the one gun. Because I'm loaded up with... Um, this is cool. I love this area, though. I'm loaded up with base building gear. Okay, um, so I'm just sort of going with the flow here. Are we by a camp? Here's the town, so this will put us on the map here. Okay. I'm gonna go... Okay, I'm gonna go take a look at a map. Figure out where I've wandered to. and then make some decisions. I'm just gonna chill here for a sec. Don't worry guys, don't worry, be happy. I'm back. I did a little map study. And uh, let's see. I think I'm good with it. There's. Um, let me see what that building is. There is a. There's a helicopter crash. Other than that... Okay, well, other than that, you have a freaking base right here. So... So this isn't gonna work. It is not gonna work. Okay. Hmm. See if we can follow these power lines to the north. I was gonna say, because this is a fairly wooded area and you have this ridge here, but you know, it is day Z, man. I mean, like, there's gonna be people. And it looks secure, is it? It does look secure. All right, moving onward. Yeah, I was after looking at the map. I was good with it, but that's a little too close to what could be a team. Although there could be teams everywhere, man. That's how it goes. Dang it. 
right? I mean, it'd be foolish to build something in these woods right now, knowing those dudes are right there. So, um, let's head up the hill towards Krasno, and there's a lot of kind of empty space in there. Just trees, and it looks flat, so... Maybe up here, because Krasno is small. There's really not not much to go up there for. There's a lumber yard people may be traipsing up here for, but it's not like military bases and Tizzy's to my west, Northwest Airfields to my south. Should be the green trail there. Let's see what we see up here. Maybe we find Krasno just so we know. It looks like this is going to be Krasno. Maybe we go leave our offering. That'll help us. The Lord will guide us. I like that. I like the pine trees. I thought I saw a person. Okay, I like it. This is quiet. Those dudes at the base down there, there's way bigger fish to fry and places to loot than up here. I mean, this is tiny. This is this is tiny. Uh, they'll you'd imagine they'll come up here just out of boredom once in a while. All right. Oh, there's oh, that's not the church. sounds okay live zombies are good Ooh, a shovel that would be nice if I needed it I hear a chicken I hear rumbling scary. Yeah, that's down by that base we just were at. It's right down. That's in um, the city of Kaminsk. Kind of looking for this shrine. We don't have a lot of food. We can cook up some chicken. Or hen, excuse me. I think the shrine's right there. I don't know if I have this for fishing hooks. Oh, the little sound of the, the knife going in the sheath. It's really cool. More chicken. This is cool. I'm, I'm feeling this vibe. I'm feeling good about this. Alright, let's leave an offering. I'm going to leave our best, whatever that is. Whatever the best is. Oh. It's an offering. It's a generous offering. Oh my goodness. Gotta fix my jacket.
Offering of beans. Whew. I felt that one. I felt that one. Okay, let's scout this barn and make sure it's not a freaking base. Is that even a barn back there? I don't even see it on the map. Oh, it's because I need to zoom out a little bit. I like this, though. I like the sounds. I like the breeze. I like the trees. And uh, I don't like walking anymore. Yeah, I gotta fix my coat. I get a sec. And it does not appear to have a base in it. Ha! Huh. Or does it? What's this hanging out here? Is that just a part of the design? I think it's just a part of the design. Okay. Yep, that's all good. That is all good. Definitely heard it. Definitely. And I see it. Running for its life. Sorry, chicken. I'm not one of those kids in Minecraft killing animals just because it's fun. I need I need the food. Well. Well, that's not comforting. Pow pow. And again, let's see. I don't even know where that was. Oh, okay. Um, Kamensk Military Base. That's where that's coming from. <sighs> Selecting a spot. Easier said than done. I kind of like the area parallel to the church. So there's the shrine. I, just in looking at the map. Kind of like in this region over here. Um, people running from Kamensk military base are probably going to dip south and go to the tier 3 loot in Kamensk or stay on the north and fly over to Tizi. So I don't want to get too far north. I don't want to get too far south. I think somewhere in here might do. I'm not going to build this episode. I'm going to... The comments are going to be just all over the place. Should I build here? Yeah, no. Hey, I know this place. It's like a seven-hour walk. You should go there. Bear in mind, my goal is not for it to stand forever. It's so that I can... Log off there sometimes. Read comments there at the end of episodes. And uh, maybe do some cooking. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty open though. Not very thick forest. I think there's a road there. If I go much further south, there's a road and the green trail. And that leads to a ridge. Like, the green trail's right on the ridge. It's really scenic. It's very cool. But I'm going to go here. There should be some power lines. And I'm kind of in this no man's land here where I might be able to sneak up a base. And it is a low pop server. However, we did just hear gunshots. But maybe even something like these trees right here. Okay. There's no man's land right there. So people might run through there. We can get camo netting. 
it dips a little here. So less visibility from there. It's kind of opening up again. Okay, there's some more nice little tree line here. Right in there. Those are pretty thick too. I'm gonna get the um, the kit together. And then we can take a look. Like see where we could actually place it. Like can you nestle it up in something? Like right in here. Boom. That might, maybe, that, that could work. That's a possibility. Pretty tucked in here. Hey, the apartment base is still standing. That's pretty cool. Can this fit anywhere else now? Where I moved it from something, I guess not even close. What do I have on my shoulders? I can put it on my shoulder, okay. Now oh, a knife starting to wear. Badly damaged. Hmm. Such a good game. Still damaged. Let's just get this done for now. Nope, not firewood. I like that it's sunken in. The, the ground is just slightly sunken in here. There's no helicopter crashes in the area. Or anything like that. There's no helicopter crashes. What were we thinking? Here. Yeah, all right. Let's 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 just see if it'll let us. And then next episode might be like a little base build. Take, like, sum it up in like 10 or 15 minutes so you can see and learn a few things. But those of you that already know, it won't be so long and tedious and so we can read comments while we work. Watch down. This, this is a good tree line if I can slap it down. So picky, right? It is pretty flat here. Okay, so that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so there's some options there. How's that looking? That's that's decently tucked in there. Can we tuck it in any further this way? Okay, do we have a winner here, guys? Okay, so that's an option. Can we sneak it in here somehow, some way? What's the view this way? Kind of open, though. Is this the ticket, guys? I'm going to put it down just to look at it, and then I'll pick it back up. Good coverage from that way. I'd need a... Okay, 
Okay, so not great coverage from the front. Great coverage from the side that people will be running the rim. Great coverage from the road path side. And then the forest side is not good coverage. And this is forest side, not good coverage. So two out of four. And if I look at the map, there's no, there's no heli crashes here. There's no military bases here. Um, that direction, you see that field right there? And I think a little past the field is like a lumber yard. So people might go there for supplies. To the south is just a road and a path and then the ridge down and it's like a sharp steep down ridge and even down there there's no town it's just forest back that way is krasno and if you keep going a good ways is where we heard the gunshots okay uh you're gonna have to really talk me out of this place i think it's gonna be our spot a lot of walking and traveling, a lot of talking, a little bit of singing in this episode. If you um, finish the episode all the way through, put little singing notes. Um, put a thumbs up if you liked my singing, if you want more of it. Put a little singing note and a thumbs up. Daisy's literally going to sit here and wait to see what you think of the base build location. It om I'm probably going to do it unless there's a super good reason not to. There's no great spots on the map. I mean, it's Daisy. There's gonna be a downside to everything. There's no military close, no crash site close. Lumber yard, moderately close. Gunshots, but by now they're pretty far back. Highway behind me, mm, I don't know, 100 meters, 50, 75 meters. And uh, road that way. Uh, all right. Well, we survived another day with Daisy. We got all the gear to build a base, our little bug out solo base. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we're going to keep gaming. Uh, yeah, check out the merch store, link below. We're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse.